Good morning, everyone. On behalf of myself and the staff here at the Ohio Western Reserve National Cemetery, please accept our condolences on the loss of your loved one. At this time, we will honor the veteran with three rounds of volley fire, which will be loud, followed by taps and the presentation of the flag. On behalf of the President of the United States, the United States Army, and a grateful nation, please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation for your level's honorable and faithful service. On behalf of the Department of Veterans Affairs and a grateful nation, please accept this presidential memorial certificate in gratitude for your father's service to our country.
A reading from Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. You will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. Grace and peace from our Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. Let us pray. Holy God, holy and powerful, by the death and burial of Jesus, your anointed, you have destroyed the power of death and made holy the resting places of all your people. Keep our brother, Harold Eugene Bailey, whom we now lay to rest in the company of all your saints. And at the last, O oh God, raise him up to share with all the faithful the endless joy and peace won through the glorious resurrection of Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may also be. Today we're gathered to mourn the death, celebrate the life, and rejoice in the resurrection of Harold Eugene Bailey, father, grandfather, brother, and friend. Harold enjoyed participating in all sorts of activities. In his younger years, he enjoyed playing golf, watching Benny Hill, and listening to Johnny Cash and Oak Ridge Boys, music that often accompanied him and his family on their trips down south, which came from his proudly installed eight-track player. On some of his business trips, he would let Russ take the steering wheel. While I'm sure he believed he was nurturing a sense of independence at the time, little did he know it would one day lead Russ and Jeff into stealing, or should I say borrowing without permission, his car for a little trip of their own years later. <laughs> no fruit, right? In Harold's later years, he enjoyed playing bingo, assembling puzzles, doing word searches, and playing cornhole, which he was surprisingly good at, though much of his skill was fueled by trash talking his competition. Harold was a balanced blend of firmness and humor. He believed in giving a firm handshake and taught others to do the same. Underneath his serious side rested his goofiness. Harold was known for making jokes, teasing, and laughing. His laugh was contagious, even if you weren't exactly sure what you were laughing at sometimes. One of the things Harold enjoyed most was going to Russ and Jackie's house for dinner. The menu didn't vary much from dinner to dinner, as meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and lemon pie were staples of a good meal in his book. After eating many lemon meringue pies over the years, I think I finally learned where my love for all things lemon comes from. Grandpa. Above all things, though, was Harold's love for Jesus. He knew and quoted scripture like the back of his hand. He had great confidence in his faith and in his Lord and Savior. He not only knew who he was, but whose he was. I will never forget the time I interviewed him for a project in middle school, and in the midst of being his ornery and goofy self, I asked him if he knew who I was. His reply? Well, you're not Jesus Christ. No, Grandpa, I'm not. <laughs> his faith sustained him throughout his life, in all its joys and challenges, good times and bad. He was a believer and recipient of God's grace, a gift that has been given to us in Christ Jesus. So today, as we grieve and feel, and as we reflect and remember, may our hearts be far from troubled. For Harold would want us to have hope, Hope in the promise of the resurrection, the promise he devoted his earthly life to, the promise of eternal life, which he is now living with all the saints. For all these things and more, we can say, 
Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us now commend Harold to God, our Father. Ensure in certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. We commend to Almighty God, our brother Harold, and we commit his body to its resting place. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord's face shine on him with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon him with favor and give him peace. Amen. Rest eternal, grant him, O Lord and light perpetual shine upon him. Let us pray. Merciful God, you heal the broken in heart and bind up the wounds of the afflicted. Strengthen us in our weakness. Calm our troubled spirits and dispel our doubts and fears. In Christ rising from the dead, you conquer death and open the gates to everlasting life. Renew our trust in you that by the power of your love we shall one day be brought together again with Harold. Grant this, we pray, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, make you complete in everything good, so that you may do God's will, working in, in you that which is well-pleasing in God's sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us go forth. Family and friends, this does conclude services here at our National Cemetery. 